Hello, everyone. My name is Dr. David Pugh. I am a staff scientist at the Calf Visualization Core Laboratory. Today, I'm going to con uh, continue or pick up where I left off um, in this series of tutorials on how to run the AlphaFold CASP 13 uh, protein prediction code from DeepMind um, on our IBEX cluster here at Calf. So in the previous video, I showed you how to launch the job script to download the data. And in this video, I'm just going to walk you through the process of creating the Conda environment, which sets up the software stack that you need to run the uh, AlphaFold Alpha, Alpha code on IBEX. OK, so um, I'll assume that you followed through the previous video. You've already cloned this um, the, the DeepMind research uh, repo from the IBEX training, uh, which is just a fork of the original DeepMind uh, research code. You've cloned that on, onto IBEX, and you've already run the job script to download the, the data that you require. So now what we're going to do is just run the or launch the job that um, will create the Conda environment. So if you look inside the, the, the bin directory, there are some instructions about how to create the uh, Conda environment. Uh, for AlphaFold. In particular, there's a mention of there's a script here that you could run um, to uh, a bash script that you could run that would create the Conda environment. Um, and then there's also some instructions on how to launch this uh, Conda environment creation as a job on the IBEX cluster. And so that's what we're going to do. Uh, that's what we're going to do today. Um, so let's just take a look at, uh, at the Conda environment creation shell script. So this is pretty standard, that, uh, a pretty standard um, shell script that I would use to create a Conda environment. Um, it has three parts. Um, so in the, the first part, we kind of uh, set up some directories and we create the Conda environment. And then we activate this Conda environment. And then we source this post build script, which will install and enable some JupyterLab extensions for GPU and CPU uh, resource monitoring. I've found that uh, these extensions are invaluable when you are trying to get your, uh, your GPU accelerated code up and running because it allows you to try to make sure that your, uh, your code is working properly and actually using the GPU before you go and launch like a large training job, um, which we'll be doing for this AlphaFold uh, CASP 13 replication project. Okay, so we're basically just going to run this script. Um, but we're going to run it from within a batch job launched on the cluster via Slurm by running this uh, sbatch uh, Slurm job script. So I'm just asking for a couple of hours on the debug partition and two CPUs and four gigs per CPU, so eight gigs total. So this is kind of laptop, laptop level of resources, but that's all we need to uh, create the Conda environment. So let's look actually at the configuration files for this Conda environment. So there's three of them. So the first is the environment.yaml file. Um, and so this sets up a, an alpha fold environment. And we're going to need two channels. So the Conda Forge channel and the defaults channel. And then we need some dependencies. And the dependencies that we need are, of course, the, the GPU, uh, the NVIDIA GPU libraries. So we've got the CUDA toolkit, CUDA uh, and CUPTI. And these are very particular versions. So we need to use uh, version 10, 10.0 uh, for the CUDA toolkit, 7.6 for CUDA and uh, CUPTI, the version for CUPTI needs to match the, the version for CUDA toolkit. Um, and these are the versions that are compatible with uh, TensorFlow 1.14, which is the version of TensorFlow that was used by AlphaFold. And then we're going to install uh, JupyterLab uh, and JupyterLab NV dashboard, and then Wheel uh, and Python and PIP. And we're going to use Python 3.6. So Python 3.6 is the version of Python that is compatible with, again, the TensorFlow uh, 1.14, which is what was used by AlphaFold. So, and then we're going to pip install a bunch of things from requirements.txt. So let's actually take a look at that requirements.txt. So I used the requirements.txt that was actually provided by AlphaFold with one modification. And that modification was that I installed the GPU version of TensorFlow. So they had only installed the CPU version of TensorFlow. 
uh, despite the fact that in the code, the code um, specifically has flags for toggling between CPU and GPU. So I wanted to enable the, the GPU acceleration on IBEX. And so I installed the TensorFlow uh, GPU enabled version. Okay. So, so those are all the configuration files. So now let's uh, create the conduit environment. So from uh, within the DeepMind uh, project directory, we can, um, should go back here to the actual um, readme instructions. So we can run this, that's the data download, sorry, uh, this, this command here, which will create the conda environment and do so as a batch job. Now, I've actually already run this, uh, run this script. Um, so I'm not going to do it here. Um, it takes about 30 minutes or so uh, to run the script and install the code. Um, but once you run it, you should see that in the alpha fold um, directory, you should see an EMV directory. So this is the conda environment that would have been created by launching that batch job. And we can see the contents of this environment by doing a conda list and then the path to the environment. So in this case, alpha fold 13 uh, EMP. And uh, interesting. Maybe I need to prefix. There we go. So, And if we look in here, so I'm, I'm just going up. So here's our CUDA dependencies. And then uh, if we scroll down, we can find our TensorFlow dependencies. So here's TensorBoard, TensorFlow Estimator, TensorFlow GPU, and TensorFlow Probability. So those are all installed, um, as well as all of the dependencies that those, uh, that those will need. So um, that, that's what you should see um, once the conda environment creation has uh, step has finished. And then we'll be good to go. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to launch um, a Jupyter server uh, on the debug partition of IBEX with GPU support. And then we will start actually um, interactively running the code for the alpha fold um, um, uh, protein prediction algorithm, and we'll look at our monitoring dashboards, and we will see that the job is actually um, kind of running as expected. Um, and then once we're comfortable with that, once we understand the process of, uh, of how that works, then uh, in a follow-on video to that, I'll show you how to um, launch a, uh, a training job on IBEX, a batch job that will just run the whole pipeline uh, for AlphaFold. Okay. See you again soon. Bye for now.